Hello and welcome to MIP TV. And with me is Bob Cook, who is a has a polymathic knowledge of literature in the world of counselling and psychotherapy. And Bob is going to share a really interesting book from the point of view. It's got such a history. First came out, I think, in 1989, if I'm correct. Yep. So what is this literal gem, Bob? Yeah, it's celebrating 25 years of his life. It's his fourth edition. 2014 was the last edition. And of course, it's called Transaction Analysis Counseling in Action by the wonderful, famous TA person, Ian Stewart. Indeed. And if anybody's interested, uh, we've, we've reviewed uh, TA Today, which is a seminal book in transactional mm. analysis. But yeah, the, the Counseling in Action series is really good. I mean, I've got quite a few of them in my library. I've got Person Centered, Psychodynamic, uh, Cognitive Behavioral. Um, mm. So, what what is the interest in this book? Why do you think it's lasted so long? Nineteen eighty nine. It's it's been out a bit, Bob, hasn't it? Yeah, because it's, it's aimed at students. Ah, it's aimed very much at students start, starting their clinical world. In other words, how to use TA to build rapport? Ah, how to use TA in the first steps of a client session? Mm. How to work in the first four, five, six sessions using transaction analysis in the beginning stages of a therapeutic dialogue. Yeah. So, mm. so this is very, very much a trainee's book. Students. Students' book, yeah, for, tra- for people who are training. And mm. like all the um, in-action books, they, they really do sort of set the, the information out in a very easy-to-access and a very straightforward way, don't they? Yeah, and if I had to give um, TA trainees a tip, when they start their clinical journey, have their first clients either in placements or in private practice, have a copy of this book beside you. Mm. Now, I'm not saying you'll read this while you're working with your client. (laughs) That would be a bit scary. But in the 10 minutes or quarter of an hour in between sessions or half an hour in between sessions, you can look at this book and you can sort of uh, really understand the sequence of treatment planning, how to be in the first sessions, an understanding of what it means to be a TA practitioner in the clinical world. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I have to say that I've, I've got a great fondness for inaction books. Um, I, I used to teach humanistic therapy, person sensitive therapy. And, um, you know, I've still got my, my inaction book, Personal Sense Council in Action. It's all worn out. I've got an up to date book. Sage very, very kindly sent me an up to date book. Um, but they are so, so useful. And I like, I'll tell you what I think they're really good for, Bob. You know, it's, it's not all about practicing. Students have to write assignments and dissertations. Yeah. And there is some really, really good learning that can be used as references and quotes in assignments as well. Wonderful book. And it covers such things as termination, covers such things as contracts, covers how to focus at a beginning trainee, and and even talks about the relationship. It has a map of how to use transaction analysis clinically. It's a wonderful tool. And I'll, yeah, and I'll tell you one other thing, Bob. I still refer to my inaction books. Fourteen years. Um, 12, 12 years after I got qualified, I still yeah. find myself thumbing through them and, and, and finding things. I'm like, oh, I am really, really, really useful. I've, I've just been reminded of that. I even found oh. things I didn't know. I didn't know that. So they, they are a gem of information, aren't they? Really are. Yeah. And Ian Stewart is very concise, very logical. And it's a map, a mm. map of how to use TA in a clinical setting. Well, that is sounds like a, a must-have book if you're a student. If you're a student of TA, or maybe if you're a student of another modality of therapy, yes. and yeah. you want a comparison, because a lot of training courses now ask you to compare and oh. contrast modalities, so it might be worth getting a copy just just for that, and uh, to be able to kind of do your comparison therapy. So it's called Transactional Analysis in Counselling, it's by Sage Books. It's by Ian Stewart. And the latest uh, kind of uh, copy of it, or, or publishing, is 1914. Uh, no, 2014. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 2014. That's before, the, second, years of the, <laughs> before the First World War, wasn't it? 25 years of this book. 
Yeah. In our 15th review. Wow, 15. And as I said in the last review, we're, we're going on, a, we're going on a, a, a pace. As always, we're going to put a... <laughs> We're going to put a link in the description below so mm. you can click on if you want to order the book. That's that's great. And also, up right at the end, um, we'll put a picture up and the name of the book so that you get a visual idea of, of what it looks like. And as always, Bob doesn't do these um, for any kind of gain. This isn't a sponsored um, broadcast. It's just purely because Bob likes to talk about his, uh, his, his extensive library, um, which yep. seems to be growing bigger by the day. So, Bob Cook, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye.